Hello everyone, this is PC Death Gamer. Welcome back. We <coughs> last time we left off, Akira came into our room and asked if we wanted to go to a certain area with her for our last day. We agreed. So in a way, I think with how everything's going on, most likely we're gonna end up with her or something. So we'll figure out. But yay, great weather again today. This is my last day to look around Japan. Akira says she wants to take me to Yokama. Okay, okay, let's make my last day here the best. Oh. So, are you ready to head out? Uh, yeah, completely. Okay, then let's start. Uh, uh, Arkira, you look really sleepy, are you okay? Oh, sorry, I'm fine, don't worry about me. Mm. But you really don't look well, do you think you might be coming down with something? If it's too much of a bother, you don't have to come with me today. Uh, are you saying you don't want to go with me? That's not it, that's not what I'm saying at all, it's just that. If you're sick, I don't want to. And that's why I said I'm fine and not to worry about it, right? That's true, but... Anyway, let's get going. We want to as much time as possible to look around, right? Yeah. I know she says she's fine, but I wonder if that's true. Just this last week, she's gone out with me so often, done so much, and she just got back from Kyoto. I wonder if all the activities catching up with her. By the way, how much do you know about Yokama? Uh, not very much, really. Not much. Well, to tell you the truth, until you asked me yesterday, you could say I didn't know anything about it at all. Hmm, I see. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. But it's, but it's like I lied to you. I told you not to worry about it. It means all my hard work wasn't in vain. Huh? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Ah. Uh, um, uh, speaking of which, you don't know where your Yokama is, do you? Uh, no, embarrassingly enough. It's next to Tokyo. It's the harbor town in Kagura for Unksure. Ah, uh, so it's not in Tokyo. I guess it must be pretty far. Nothing to worry about. It's just one prefecture over. You can still get there directly from a large station like Tokyo. Or it doesn't take long at all. It can't be more than 30 minutes from either station. I see. I guess it would take longer to go to places within Tokyo that require a lot of changing trains, huh? That's about right. Anyway, I'll save the detailed description of Yoko or after we get there. Okay. So, <laughs> cost is fine. Wow. Oh, well, here we are. This is Yokama? Yes, this is one of Yokama's most famous tourist spots, Harborview Park, which you've seen if anime fanatics or anyone who's watched anime, Cosmos Stigma, where Kazu fights his father and actually defeats him. This is where that is. Harborview Park. One of the most known ones, at least. Harborview Park. See, you can see the whole city from up here. Uh, I wonder if we can see the Minitomari 21 from here. Minitomari? Um, it's an amusement park. It's Japan, has Japan's tallest building, the landmark tower, and a big Ferris wheel called the Yokohama C Cosmo World. Anyway, it's kind of like the heart of Yokohama. It's strange. We should be able to see Yokohama Harbor. Uh, isn't it the harbor over there? Uh, see, there are boats docking. Ah, you're right. That means the harbor that the park overlooks. Oh, come on. What an annoying name. Here. Yeah. Uh, um... That's right, I haven't told you about Yokohama yet. This place, Yokohama, was an itty bitty fit. Uh, itty, itty, uh, itty bitty fishing village 150 years ago. Small, this place? Yeah, there were less than 100 houses here that it was that small. 100 houses, how can it get to be such a big city in such a short time? Well, because America's ships came. Ameri Until then, Japan had a period called the Sh Sokodo, in which trade with most countries who are forbidden. But in 18, um, yeah, 1863, an American named Admiral Perry came to Japan to open our borders. The circle came to an end and Yokohama was chosen as the vanguard of trade for all, with all countries, with other countries. In other words, it was a window of, to foreign trade. That's right. Afterwards, Yokohama turned from a sleeping, sleepy fishing village to a town filled with cutting edge foreign culture overnight and within a mere 150 games can you see you see today wow you could say that Japan's modernization began right here in Yokohama 
Then, when you come back to foreign trade port, this whole area was designed to cater to foreigners. So they built a lot of western style buildings in this area, and it became a big tourist spot. Western style, huh? Yeah, anyway, as long as we're here, you want to look around? Yeah, I think so. Um, this area is called the uh, Yakuza in Japan. Yeah, Japanese. In English, I think you call it Yama. What the hell, phone? So, er, uh, I bet she means bluff. And because people f from cult states, uh, from Euro European countries like England, French, live here becomes an upper class regional district. See, do you see all the adorable houses? Yeah, I see what you mean. It really is strange having all these European style homes in the middle of a Japanese town. But from our standpoint, I guess it doesn't seem that strange at all. And right now, I'm more worried about uh, how unwell Akira has been looking since this morning. She looks exhausted all the time on the train. Hey, Akira, are you sure you're okay? Huh? I'm fine. Why do you ask? It's just you look completely exhausted. Uh. Hey, if you're really tired, you don't have to force yourself. I, I told you I'm fine. I'm not tired at all. I hope not, but... Anyway, anyway, let's get going to the next destination. Sure. Anyway, I just have... I have to just keep my eye on her. Yeah. Uh, here we are. This is Chinatown, right? Wow, that's amazing. You got it right off the bat. I think it would be obvious to anyone looking at it. Yeah. The Chinatown in Yokohama is said to be Japan's biggest alongside the one in Nagasaki and Kobe. It does seem pretty big for a Chinatown. Right, originally this area was summit for Europeans who came to trade here, they say. I see, so how did it end up as a Chinatown? Hee <laughs> hee, you've been listening. Because when Japan opened her doors, there weren't many people who spoke foreign languages. So the Europeans would bring Chinese people with them since they could communicate with Japanese and rain. They say the area where those Chinese people lived became the basis for this China for this Chinatown. But back in those days, the Europeans still outnumbered Chinese in the area. Wow! All that changed in 19, 1920, 1923, I think. There were a terrifying earthquake called the Great Kanto Earthquake, which happened in 1923. 140,000 people died. It's called the greatest disaster in Japanese history. Nope. The recent tsunami happened. <laughs> and 140,000 must have been a lot of damage. There was damage so bad people were even thinking of moving to kept somewhere else. That happened in Tokyo wouldn't have become the city it was today. Anyway, the Great Kanto earthquake caused a lot of the foreigners in this area to move back to their home countries. And the ones who inherited it were Chinese. In the years that followed, the region developed into a big Chinatown we see that I see. Yeah, hey, do you know Subun? Subun? I think you call him Su Yat-sen. Oh, Sun Yat-sen. We studied him in my history class. He was a Chinese revolutionary, right? Yes, a revolutionary. They say that after he was exiled, he spent some time here in this town and continued his revolutionary work. Well, I didn't know that. Anyway, one of the highlights of Yokohama's Chinatown is that is the <coughs> can't tell anybody can't yeah yes it's a boy venturing one of China's most famous military generals what boils where you worship ancestors and or other great people I think you call a mausoleum in English ah you mean a mausoleum so can't tell in the name is it was the name of a really strong general who lived in China around 200 AD he, was he had a really long beard, and he was renowned for his sense of duty, not just in China, but Japan as well. Have you ever read the Sangachi? I think it translated in English under the title, The Romance of Three Kingdoms. Ah, I never read it, but I know of it. They use it a lot as a muff muffa in anime, right? Right, the general kanu that you see in those anime is the Kanti Venture here. Right, but my English kanu is totally... It's totally as a girl. That tells me a lot about your anime viewing habits. Yeah, shit. Damn it. Yeah, he, that was my viewpoint too. Until I looked up. Uh, by the way, the building 
only dates back to the 40s, but the site itself is over 150 years old. In other words, Kennison has been protecting this area for 150 years, so he's like a protective spirit. That's right, as long as we're here, would you like to pay tribute? Sure, alright. This area really feels like a total Chinatown. So many Japanese restaurants see, and all these old little shops up and down the street. I see. Hey, look at that one. It's full of cute little trinkets. It is. I've never seen anything like these. It's amazing. Isn't it? That's what I said, but there are really a lot of Chinatowns all over the world. There are, re there are reasonable Chinese restaurants even in my town. I mean, it's not that I hate Chinatowns or I'm bored or anything. Just, I'm just really all, I really am worried about Kira. I'm grateful for her for explaining so much to me, but she really does seem less than Jake than usual. She's not smiling and growing mad at me the way she usually does. I really feel like she's forcing it. Ah, uh, hey, what's that? That delicious smell of boyfriend through the air. Want to eat, Kira? It'll be my treat. Kira. Hey, Kira. Huh? Don't say Han. Did you hear what I said? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, of course I heard it. Uh, where was I? You were talking about all the shops in this Chinatown? Alright, yeah, I was talking about the number of shops. Uh, I don't know all about that. Uh, I think Akira is definitely. That's it, there are 600 stores in Chinatown, and almost 250 of these are, Chin those are Chinese restaurants. There's so many, but it's hard to decide which one to pick. Uh, speaking of food, I think I'm getting hung. Hey, it's about that time. Let's get something to Akira. What, you're not hungry at all? It's not that just, maybe it's the time we went home. Huh? What, you're not having fun? It's not that, it's not that at all, it's just, just what? I really think you're under the water today, Kira. I think it's best if we just get home. All right, there's no point for yourself so much you get sick. Said I'm fine, huh? Told you I'm just fine, but don't butt me. If I said I'm fine, I'm fine. Kira, I at the same token, if you're bored, just say you're bored. So, oh. I'm not, it's not, that's not it. It's just that, it's not that. That's not it, sort of. Can I really say that I wouldn't have preferred that we, I wouldn't have preferred we go somewhere else, at least a little? Or maybe that I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, if we'd gone somewhere else, I could have seen more of curious expressions. Uh, yeah, you didn't say anything, that means you're bored. No, that, that it's not it, that's not it. it Oh, but just, just, uh, I get, huh? Uh, get what? You went to go home, then fine, go home. No, I didn't say I wanted to go home. Yeah, then, like you said, I'm not feeling well, so I'll go home. That's, that's what you want. It's not it at all. Then once I'm gone, you can go wherever you want. I'll go home just like you want, so. We're all, well, it's, well, you think I'm boring, don't you? Then I'll stop wasting your time. It's your last day and you want to go somewhere more fun, don't you? So I'm going, no! I care! Wait, wait, I care! I care! Ah! I ended up chasing that third and we really ended up going home. No matter how I tried talk with her on the train she wouldn't respond i guess losing her temper like that is more proof that she's not feeling well anyway i'll, I'll let her take you easy today kira why'd you come with me why well, i just can't go sightseeing while you go home alone so i told you i was fine even so hey come on where are you going this the house is that way the supermarket i forgot to get one of the ingredients for tonight told you not to worry about that we'll get dinner somewhere i get kent over there see don't worry about it and just... Akira? Okay, I got it. If you want to... For your last day, you can just buy it yourself. I don't care anymore. Uh, Akira! Akira, she's so fast, I have to catch her. She got away from me. Akira, she ran into her room and won't come out. Did I say something to defend her? I was just worried about her. Looks like Mike's gone somewhere too. The house is so quiet like this. It's never been like this before. Kira, it's my last day here in Japan. Why do you have to turn out like this? Why?
Oh, my, uh, you're back already? That was fast. Oh, well. Speaking of which, where's Kira? In her room? Yeah. What's wrong? Did something happen? Um. Uh, did you try to make a pass at her or something? No way. I would never do that. I'm kidding. No matter how shameless you are, you never do something like that. So, did something happen? Well, uh, sort of, but sort of not. Hmm, when you put it that way, I bet it was, was what? Makoto? I can't do it, it's not my place to play. You'll just have to figure it out. That's cruel! Anyway, if it won't come out, we'll have to figure out something for dinner. It's your last night here, so maybe I have to whip up something myself. Uh, whip up something. Makoto's going to cook. Let's see what's in the fridge. Wait, wait, Makoto. Uh, if I don't stop it, it's going to turn into another disaster. Uh, what's wrong? Look, in the fridge, it's packed with ingredients. Uh, uh, you're right. Why is there so much in here? You don't know? Huh? I think I know. If you know, then what is it? You're hopeless. Here, let me give you a hint. Hint? Have a look at the entrance. En entrance. Entrance. Is something in the entrance? Just go and look. Go and look. What could it be? Huh? This is a curious bag. She was carrying it. Uh, there's a book peeking out. This is. Is this? Do you know what that is? Is it? This is a Yokohama guidebook. Did you look inside? I, I saw. Yes. So that is entirely. That's the entire. As for the answer. Well, it looks like you got it. Yeah. The Yokohama guidebook. Akira was carrying all the best sightseeing routes, all the all the most popular sightseeing spots, all kinds of information about them. She had checked them all in such detail. I imagine that was the first time she's been to Yokohama. The first time. So she must have checked it all out and she probably stayed up all night. So so it's not she wasn't feeling ill. And after all that I page to page, there's notes handwritten all over them. What is this all so she give me a tour? I told you not to worry about it. I mean, all my hard work wasn't in vain. Uh, but, oh my gosh. Basically just flashbacks right now. All that change in the 19... I think. Uh, that's why she screwed up on the English. Uh, Akira, uh. she really is an awkward one, that girl. But she really tried so hard to prepare and wrote down all the English she was so bad at. Then all the greens in the fridge, probably the same reason. She didn't want you worrying about her today. She wanted you to think highly of her. To think highly of her. That's why she worked so hard. And after all that, I just, I just, I can't. Yeah. You can stay in here. Just hear me out. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know how much you've been preparing for today. I didn't even think about it. Now that I know, now I know, uh, now I know how hard you worked for me. And after all that, I just ruined it. It's like I just trampled on all your efforts. Kira, I guess you won't come out. Listen, Akira, maybe it's too late now. But I just want to say one thing. I'm sorry about today, and thank you. She won't come out of the room. She won't even talk to me. I guess I might. Must have hurt her really bad on my last night here. If I had realized her feelings even just a little bit, then maybe I could have had a better night on my last day here. And then maybe I could have told her how I feel about her. And how I how I feel. Yes, I think I... But there's no way I can do that now. Maybe tomorrow. I hope she'll talk to me at least a little bit tomorrow. If she does then.
Oh, I guess she isn't coming out. Yeah, I'm sure she knew when you we had an out, but I guess she just wants to be stubborn. I really am sorry. I'll try to call her one more time. Don't, huh? Don't bother. It's time we have to go. But I really would have liked to see her one last time, to hear her voice. But let's go, Mako. At least say goodbye to her. I left a letter in front of the door to her room. As long as she reads that, it should be okay. The letter? Yeah. All my feelings, all my thoughts are in that letter. As long as she understands how I feel, I... You sure? Yeah. I see, I understand. It was just a week. I don't like leaving it behind like this, but... This house. And yeah, Akira, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, damn it. Thank you for cutting me off. It was nothing. I hope you'll we'll, you'll see us again sometime. Sure, you should visit my town sometime. Sure, I'll definitely try. Anyway, bye. Yes, bye. Farewell, farewell, Japan. And wait. Huh? Uh, Kira. Think that's how I made it in time. Kira, you you came. Kira. Uh, um. Uh, yeah. Mm. I can't read that. Huh? I care. Oh my gosh. She keeps trying to speak English. She can't get it. Huh? See you again, promise me. So this is what she said that time. Uh oh, no, I got caught up in the moment. But that that meant what well, that did, didn't it? That's it. Paper bag. Carrie gave it to me just we parted. Oh what's in it? A doll. And a letter. I made you a doll that looks like you, doesn't it? I'll be waiting restlessly for the day we meet again. This is the seal of our promise with love. Kira. My gosh. When breastly for the day we meet again, huh? If we're going to meet if we're going to meet again someday. She's going to promise that I'll show her around my country. So then I'll be studying Japanese every day so I can communicate my feelings with her without misunderstanding. Till the day I see her again. For that day. You gotta be kidding me. That's it. Ah. <laughs> I can't skip this at all. <laughs> God damn it. That's actually sad. Uh, I didn't feel like there was any way that I could have avoided going with her. No where I chose. I was still somehow ended up with her. Uh, that's actually all sad. She said all that in that letter in English. Yeah. That's how it's gonna end. <laughs> ah, it <that> sucks. No. <laughs> oh. Ah. Yeah, that sucks. Will they ever meet again, though? Oh, come on. Please don't at least meet again. Ooh, okay, so we're still going on. I finally made it. Let's see, the next thing I need to do. That's right, let me do that. As soon as she said the express ticket, and I need to get on the train. After I take the Nerd Express, um, I do this, then that. Right, it's perfect. It's been a whole year. She swore she should come visit me in my country. I told me to wait for her. Kira had promised she would come, but it never seemed to happen. I'm sure she completely 
intended to come, but she's still in school. She didn't understand how hard it was to raise your own money, take time off, and go overseas by yourself. I really did want to keep my promise to her, but more than wanting to keep a promise when Sirgan was my overriding feelings. So I came back to Japan. Naturally, I kept it a secret from her. Let's see, I think this is where I changed trains. Then where's Akira? What, what is if she's mad with I me mean, for not waiting for her? Still. It's been a whole year. It hasn't changed at all. Oh, no way! Uh, uh, Akira! I can't believe we bumped into each other like this. Why are you here? Oh, I just really wanted to see you. Oh, oh you. Uh, told you to wait, you jerk. <laughs> what is it? What's so funny? You just... You reacted just the way I thought you would. Uh, Kira? There's so much I want to say, but... I won't try right now. I just... Just what? I just want to enjoy my seeing you again. Kira? Uh-huh. Now you're going in it that way.